Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I brought you to a place I've been wanting to visit for years. And I always thought that parking was a bit of a nightmare around here. Uh, that's why it sort of put me off, but it hasn't been actually, it's not been too bad. And today I've brought you to Chilworth Gunpowder Mills, the remains of Chilworth Gunpowder Mills, a very important gunpowder factory um, all along the, uh, the North Downs. So yeah, quite excited about this. Let's kind of have a bit of an explore. This is the old West Lodge, which was the entrance to the modern day mills where people would check in to make sure they got nothing that would uh, ignite the gunpowder for health and safety. Obviously a very risky uh, industry like gunpowder production. There were um, uh, accidents, a famous one in 1901 when I think six people were killed. So yeah, let's go and have a look around. Gunpowder from this place was in production from like the 1650s right up to the 1920s. It's a long time. Would have gone abroad to the rebuilding of the British Empire. Um, using the go to Parliament in the English Civil War. So yeah, very, very important place this. One of the mills, massive grinding stones. They're scattered all over the place. There's always remains of uh, little buildings as you walk round. Some are very well preserved. I think there's over a hundred buildings on this site, coming from the lower works, which is the older buildings, up to the the middle works, which is uh, later. I think that's more uh, 18th and 19th century. Mighty hot today. Excuse me a second. What's really good? There are uh, information boards along the uh, trail, and you can pick up a heritage trail, which is really useful. So you can read about the history, what each of the buildings mean. There's a map so you can work out where you're going. That way, it's pretty much a linear trail, apart from a few excursions, but uh, it's quite a vast site. Chilworth's very interesting because um, it must be the from the few places there's just nowhere really, I was saying about earlier, nowhere to park in Chilworth, apart from the pub, the Percy Arms. Um, but yeah, it's, I parked a little side road, I hope it's okay. Um, I'm sure it is. But yeah, um, lovely. Let's carry on down to some of the uh, better preserved houses. Let's go. you can come down the little staircase so you can come down actually into the main body of these um, I think these are the lower works some of the later buildings but uh, very well preserved absolutely fascinating one of the earliest examples though this whole uh, range of a gunpowder mill in England fascinating absolutely fascinating So 
if you go up that way, you come up to St. Martha's Hill and uh, St. Martha's Church, which we're going to do soon. So yeah, so lots of great walking trails around here, as well as this heritage trail, you know. They've done a little sort of like, um, very much like at um, Banstead Woods, sort of little uh, sculptures and that for the kids as you, as you go around the trail, which is quite cool. It's great that you can actually walk into the ruins. I'm really pleased about that. I suppose just looking from above down, you can actually come in. Unfortunately, that means that Bill can come in and do a bit of graffiti. Um, but yeah, let's have a look in the other. Oh, you go into another room there. Oh, cool. Have been an idea. What an industry this must have been back in the day. Um, oh, it's got a bit dark in here. I think there's an entry for this place. Uh, you know me, I don't think anywhere is haunted, I think it's everywhere. But one of the folk tales um, is in my book, Paranormal Surrey, about phantoms here. Well, people lost their life, it could well be, you know. Well, that was fascinating walk around uh, Chilworth Gunpowder Mills, the ruins of Chilworth Gunpowder Mills. Amazing. Really, really interesting. So what we're going to do now, I've got a pub lunch in Shear, where I've been to many times before, done videos from there. But I thought we'd just have a quick walk around the church and then uh, a pub lunch in the village pub. Let's do it. Yes, old door alert, but how about a small door alert? Small door alert. <laughs> I know I've done videos from Shear before, but it's such a beautiful village off the A25. Uh, let's have a little look around. There's so many beautiful historic buildings in this village, and we've got a bypass that takes it away from the A25. Hollywood does come a-calling. The holiday was um, filmed here with um, whatever her name was, um, in 2006, with Jude Law and Cameron Diaz, that's it. And that's where we're going for lunch, the White Horse. But first, let's go and have a quick look at the church. Hopefully it's open, let's go and look inside St James's Church in Shear, 12th century. Well, it's 
nice to come in the cool after um, the heat outside. It's like the old churches. So here is a cell of Christine Carpenter, anchoress of Shear in 1329. I'm not going to explain the story today because here's Archive Mark from two years ago telling you the tale of Christine Carpenter. So back in 1329 there would have been a structure here, stone structure, and people would have devoted their life to God by being walled in, okay, away from the sins of the world. So they literally were living in this stone what? by six foot by four foot maybe and villagers would feed them water and food there would be a little window so they could hear the congregation uh, and the services going on but that is really an extreme way of personal devotion to God to the Christian God you need to get permission from the Archbishop of Canterbury and I think she did it twice she came out for a while and then went back in but we don't know what happened to Christine after she went back in for the second time I mean look it's only up here and it comes out to about here, spending years in this almost solitary confinement. I've said before, it's so hard to get a clean picture because there's cars everywhere. Lovely, beautiful old property. There's a car in the way, what can you do? So that was a lovely lunch in the 15th century White Horse Inn in the heart of Shear. Really, really nice. Another pub I think I mentioned in my book, Paranormal Surrey. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you've liked the video. Chilworth Gunpowder Mills and a little walk, return walk to Shear. Hope you're having a great day. See you next time. Take care.